US crude traded in range while NG traded with a bullish bias now again trying to drop a little before it looks over to resume the journey right now trading at 7.77 and US crude at 9.98.7 levels now what is going to happen today which position you should take what should be your strategy in order to make profit we will see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to Press the bell icon and do watch till the end. First, we'll look into US crude followed with natural gas. And yes, if you are interested into other markets and commodities including gold, silver and Dow Jones, Nasdaq, FTSE, Germany, you can watch those videos as well. Now, let's start the day. See, next update uh, on US gold and Dow Jones and Nasdaq will be up before the US cash system. Do watch that also. So, let's start the day with US crude first. US crude trading at 98.7 levels. Now, look at this before we come up with the daily charts. Uh, look at the hourly charts. See on the hourly charts, it is trying to give a breakout. There is a lot much of gap to be covered here at 97 probably. And yes, if it breaks till the time it sustains below 99.5 today, one can see this is the time when it has started a drop. Then yes, till the time it trades below 99.5, one can remain short and first target 98, then 97 levels. It can come back till this zone 97 and 96.5 and below that if it breaks, that should be considered as a little bearish move. Directional movement bearish, stochastic is oversold, the MACD is uh, bearish, stock RSI is near to bottom look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts too this is trying to give you a possible but see what it is trying to do it is trying to trade in this channel the support here at 98 is strong so yes we it may achieve a level of 98 and once it breaks below 98 see first support at 97.5 and then 96.8 will come into picture if it breaks that then definitely 96 and further below levels can be targeted on the upside breaking past 99.5 go long Directional movement bearish, stochastic looking downwards, the MACD is wide divergent bearish, RSI is looking downwards too. Similarly on the 3 hour chart, similar is the observation and the candle has just started probably. We may see another red candle which may try to bring it till towards 98 levels, strong support, then 97.5 and then 96.8 below that we may see a good fall. Similarly, directional movement bearish, stochastic looking downwards, MACD is bearish. And on the 4 hour chart, similar is the observation. Right now, it is looking forward to 98 levels, and below that, we can see a little fall. And most indicators are looking downwards right now at comfortable levels. MACD is willing to cross over now for a sell entry. Right now, it is on the verge of a crossover on the daily charts. See, now look at the last two candles lower highs indicating 100.5 levels giving it a very strong resistance and these candles higher lows so 98 to 105 it is consolidating 100.5 it is consolidating if it breaks below 98 yes we can see 97.6 and then below that there is a possibility for it to act more bearish and then we can expect 96 levels and on the upside breaking past 99.5 i will still expect it to get resistance at 100 dollars 100.5 levels if it breaks past 100.5 stay long and then one can expect 100 to 102.5 levels so take your trades accordingly and trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not long until it is below 99.5 and yes uh, till the time it trades below 98.5 5 levels yes you can expect it to hit 98 and is the first target 97.8 is the next target 97 after that is the first support and below that we may see a good fall for 96.8 and 96 levels trade accordingly on the upside breaking beyond 99.5 it may get a little resistance at 100 and then 100.5 breaking beyond this you can stay long for 102 levels take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at nasdaq 100 sorry natural gas See NG getting the resistance here at 78.5 levels, uh, 7.85 levels, only long entries above 7.85. On the downside, it is getting the support here at 7.75. So in between 7.8, in between 7.85, 7.7, do not trade in between this zone. Uh, but once it drops below 7.75, you can expect it to drop more for 7.6. 6 and then below that we may see it dropping further more till towards 7.5 
एंड बिलो लेवल्स तो ट्रेड अकॉर्डिंगली अबो सेवन पॉइंट एट फाइव वन कैन स्टे लॉन्ग बिलो सेवन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव यू कैन गो शॉर्ट डायरेक्शन मूवमेंट इज बेरिश स्टॉक आई स्टिक इज कम्फर्टेबल मैगडी इज वर्लिंग एंड क्रॉस वर्जिंग टू कन्वर्जिंग टू क्रॉस ओवर फॉर ए सेल आर एस आई इज ओवर बॉट ऑन द टू आर चार्ज सिमिलर इज द ऑब्जर्वेशन सेवन पॉइंट एट फाइव लेवल्स यू शुड बी वॉचफुल ऑफ बियॉन्ड दैट यस यू कैन स्टे लॉन्ग फॉर एट डॉलर लेवल सेवन पॉइंट नाइन एंड एट डॉलर लेवल शुड प्रोवाइड अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग रेजिस्टेंस ऑन द डाउन साइड नाइन पॉइंट सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स एंड सेवन पॉइंट फाइव लेवल शुड बी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सपोर्ट डायरेक्शन मूवमेंट इज बुलिश स्टॉक आइस्टिक ओवर बॉट मैगडी इज बुलिश इयर ट्राइंग टू कन्वर्ज आर एस आईज ओवर बॉट सिमिलर इज द स्टोरी ऑन द थ्री आर चार्ट एंड सिमिलर इज द स्टोरी ऑन द फोर आर चार्ट एज वेल ऑन द फोर आर चार्ट नाउ इट इज ट्राइंग टू uh looking see it is taken a base support there looking forward to a drop probably 7.65 levels and 7.6 levels should provide a support below that we may see it dropping further till towards 7.5 levels 7.5 and 7.45 levels should provide a very strong support for ng for any further drop directional movement bullish stochastic overbought macd is bullish and rsi is overbought here and similar is the story on the daily charts as well but remember on the daily charts see after forming this bottom and yes 7.5 levels you should be watchful of see this is the first green candle after this first red candle previous red candle now we may see it again you know retracing a bit on the downside and rising from there so possibility exists that it can try to it can find itself between under 8 but still uh, Act a little bullish. So first we may see a drop and then follow up with a rise. Follow up with a rise, and hence, yes, for the day go long at seven point eight five for the target of seven point nine, seven point nine five, and then eight dollar level should come into picture. On the downside, yes, if it breaks below seven point seven five, go short for seven point seven, seven point six six, and then below that seven point six and seven point five levels will come into picture. So take your positions accordingly. Take. trade profitably trade smartly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon yes you, you can join my mentorship batch or my vip signals group reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you